Now back to the news. The Sanders County Community Development Corporation is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to promote and support economic activity within Sanders County. It offers business consulting services and also manages a revolving loan fund, making loans to qualifying business entities. It is managed by a volunteer board of directors representing communities throughout Sanders County. And last Thursday, Jim Rexhaus, the executive director of the Sanders County Community Development Corporation and friend of the show, announced that Katrina Campbell, local businesswoman and entrepreneur, had been chosen by the SCCDC to receive its first Certificate of Appreciation Award for her dedication and commitment to promoting tourism and economic activity within Sanders County. Mr. Rexhaus explained that the SCCDC wanted to formally recognize individuals or organizations within the county who, by their efforts, have been instrumental in creating economic activity. He goes on to say that when the SCCDC board began discussing potential candidates for this award, Katrina's name came up immediately and support was unanimous. In addition to her ownership and operation of the Falls Motel in Thompson Falls, Katrina Campbell has been instrumental in establishing such events as the Farmer's Market, Tour 200, and most recently the Ride Idaho event that passed through town on August 11th. Rexhouse says that the Sanders County Community Development Corporation would like to award this certificate on a quarterly basis or more often if warranted. He says they would like to recognize as many deserving individuals or organizations as they can identify. Mr. Rexhouse encourages anyone who would like to nominate an individual or organization for their efforts and results in developing economic activity within Sanders County to contact the SCCDC office via email at sccdc at ronan.net or via phone at 827-6935. The formal presentation of this award took place at 10 a.m. at the Falls Motel in Thompson Falls on Tuesday. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Yes. Thank you very much. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 <laughs> Just a perfect example of doing things for, to create a win-win situation for, uh, for business and for the community uh, at large and showing how working together can accomplish a lot more than uh, trying to do everything in a standalone basis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Safety words? Yep. No, you guys said it all. <laughs> uh, Mark and I are just happy to be here. It's just a, a beautiful community and a beautiful county and in a state that you know, he was raised in Butte and was really excited to be back in Montana. So he's, he's home and, and now it's my home. And everything I do, I can only do because of Mark. Congratulations, Katrina. You deserve it. And thank you, Sanders County Community Development Corporation, for your support and recognition of these types of efforts in our community. And speaking of the Falls Motel, it is now time to play Mark It on Your Calendar. I love this game. <laughs> go to your calendar. Oh, go on now. Get your pen. And mark your calendar on the square, reading Saturday the 28th. Are you doing it? I don't... Oh! Nice! Nice! We have another winner. Thank you for playing this week's game of Mark It on Your Calendar. Join us next week for another exciting edition of Mark It on Your Calendar. I'll give you a hint. We'll be marking another Saturday. All right. This week at the Thompson Falls Market, don't miss the Brownie Bake Off. Brownies? Oh yeah, what, what do you know about brownies? Well, a true American classic, the brownie is a chocolatey treat, which goes perfect with a glass of ice cold milk. It was developed in the early 20th century on the east coast of the United States. Since its creation, this delectable bar cookie has transformed into all shades of brown, from light, known as the blondie, to rich dark fudge. Well then, whether you prefer the classic chocolate brownie or the special blonde brownie, you'll not want to miss the first ever Brownie Bake Off, a special event of the Thompson Falls Market on August 28th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on the west lot of the Falls Motel. I'll be there with a glass of milk. That's a good idea. Or maybe I'll set up a vendor booth selling ice cold milk. It's a better idea. To compete in the Brownie Bake Off or to sign up for a vendor booth, download the entry forms and rules from www.thompsonfallsmarket.com or stop by the Falls Motel between 8.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. for an entry form. The Thompson Falls Market is located on the west lot of the Falls Motel on the corner of Lincoln Street and Maiden Lane and runs from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. 
For questions or more information, call 827-3559 or email manager at thompsonfallslodging.com. Moving on. In case you weren't already aware, the Raffle Wranglers, a local group consisting of Joyce Bybee, Helen Fritch, and Ron Chisenhall, are holding a series of raffles to benefit local Dennis Light, who was recently diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, the treatment for which can be understandably very expensive. There will be three drawings starting this Friday and Saturday, and continuing the following couple of Saturdays for baskets, with prizes donated from Harvest Foods, Doug's True Value, the Lakeside Motel, First Security Bank, and Valley Bank. If you'd like to donate to Dennis, an account has been set up in his name at First Security Bank. Remember, donations are tax deductible. Our thoughts go out to Dennis and his family during this trying time. They certainly do. Well, that about does it for your only local televised source for what is now a notorious noteworthy narrative on not necessarily new newsworthy news. The broken news. But before we go, we'd like to remind everyone that change is coming. That's right. K36BW will soon be no more. Yeah, it's sad, but true. But fear not. You aren't losing anything. In fact, you'll be gaining quite a bit. Yeah, you know, when you hear no K36BW, you think, no PBS, right? Well, that couldn't be any farther from the truth, because we actually will be bringing in KUFM Montana PBS in high definition, with its four standard definition sub-channels, including PBS Kids, Create, and World, and the Montana Legislature Channel. So we lose one channel to gain five. Yeah. It seems like a no-brainer, huh? Especially when you consider we aren't really losing K36BW, it's just morphing into SNDRS-TV. Sanders TV. Yeah. Well, that's all good and all, but we should probably point out that there are a few channels that we will be losing. Yes, we'll sadly be losing our high-definition KXLY channel on 4-1, and our standard-definition KXMN channel on 4-2. But we will be keeping the standard-definition KXLY 4-3 channel. Okay, hopefully you're following out there. Well, and not to confuse the matter anymore, in an effort to bring in a high-def ABC signal, we looked to Missoula and their station KTMF. But there was a catch. To take their channel, we also had to take their sub-channel, which is... Oh, don't mess with them. Fox. That's right. This valley is finally getting all of the off-air channels that everyone else in America already enjoys, and in high definition, no less. Yeah, but... You know, personally, that means to me that Sanders County now gets the other half of Sunday NFL football and in high def for free. And taxes didn't even have to be raised to do it. I'm so happy. I think I could cry. Well, and you know what? There are two other channels left to tell you about, but that is going to have to wait until next week because we're running out of time. Thanks for watching. Stay classy, Sanders County. I think your pen just broke. Nice. And hopefully, our sound is recording. <laughs>